Next, we're going to hear from Gavin Kostick, who is um, was featured in that last presentation uh, as one of our most prolific playwrights. He's also the literary manager at Fishamble, and he's responsible for a number of our schemes, uh, including the New Play Clinic uh, and also Shona Bag, of course, which we partner with the Irish Theatre Institute and Dublin Fringe on. So I'm going to hand you over now to Gavin Kostick. I'll uh, keep talking into the microphone because uh, the whole thing's being recorded, but otherwise I would, you know, uh, just talk. Um, yeah, um, yeah, uh, productive, Jim, rather than prolific, uh, that's why I'd say. Um, <laughs> the, uh, that was a surprise, actually. It was quite pleasant. I can't remember them. Um, so uh, what I'd like to do for the next 15 minutes, I am the literary manager of Fishamble, the new play company, and what I'd like to do is just talk about how things have evolved within Fishamble over the last 15 years to give you some idea of what we do and why we do what we do, and maybe some kind of glimpse into the future at the very end of that. Jim, if you'd uh, just tie me there in case. Uh, I'd pick up the story in 2004, when Ola Flanagan, our then general manager, came back from uh, placement in the Fulbright Centre, uh, Washington DC, she was in the Kennedy Centre, and she said that we really need to think about Fish Amble, every company does, to really, really dig deep and think about what we were doing. So we cracked out the post-it stickers, uh, got a whiteboard of markers, and spent a very happy day really looking at what we were doing. And one of the things we did in a moment of impatience, uh, the company was actually called Fishamble, and we wrote, or I wrote, Fishamble, the new play company across the board, so we were clear this is what we did. And then that stuck, because we were then start to be able to explain to audiences that we are a new play company. That is what you can expect. They are all different. Um, so that happened. And then um, Bri Brian Friel had very kindly sent us a quote, and he said, um, without fish, uh, fish Amble, new Irish writing would be anemic. So we thought about that image, uh, anemic lack of iron in the blood, the richness of blood, circulation, uh, and we came up with fish amble at the heart of new Irish writing. So if you heard that phrase, that's where that came from, is that meeting. Uh, now that's quite a big statement. So we kind of thought, well, if, you know, if we're going to say that, you actually have to do things. So in the arts world, if you say this is what our policy is, you kind of go, and then how do we enact it? So we started to think about that. So one of them was the commitment to touring. You know, that's good, circulation, we go around the tour. So there are 60 to 80 venues around Ireland. We have been to, I think, all of them uh, multiple times, and we have very good partnerships with them. So the work was circulating. And then what happens is the more you circulate and the more successful plays are, the more people send you scripts. So we receive a lot of scripts, so that's circulation. Um, the problem with a lot of the scripts is actually they're very good. They're really good. Uh, and you're going, this is a little bit frustrating because they're not quite where they might be, but they are really good. If they're only, uh, the writer had a chance to think a bit more, maybe they could even progress more. So the evening courses, which still exist to this day, began out of this sense of if we can talk to writers a little bit earlier in the process and encourage the development of the script, then maybe for us and for the rest of the sector, uh, the plays will be in a slightly better position. So they started to exist. Then the, there was two a year. Then the weekend courses came in, which are three-day courses, because we observed that across Ireland, people couldn't attend nine weeks uh, all at the same time, uh, and also actors and theatre professionals. So uh, actors could then come in for a weekend in a way that they probably wouldn't uh, be able to do for nine weeks. So that happened. And also, with the uh, touring, we were able to start talking to the venues about um, mentoring and uh, within the venues, so year-long mentoring schemes, weekends, uh, and they often come with a package, so it'd be post-show discussions, a show by Fish Amble, and a workshop during the day. So then you start to attract from a local area people into that, so they're all writing. So this is sort of goes along nicely. Um, a decision we made at the time was also to publish any, everything. We hadn't actually published everything, and very much like ITI would say, things get lost in time, they vanish. So we start to publish every single work that we had with publishing partners. And that's worked a treat. They go into universities, they go into reproductions by other places, they get into translation, because they exist in the world. So you're kind of thinking about it like that. Then, um, I want to deviate for a moment to a thing called Tenderfoot, which is not a fish amble thing which is a scheme run in the Civic, uh, run by Veronica Coburn, with me, Liam Halligan as well, and a number of theatre professionals from transition year students. That started around 2007, and it was an annual thing. And at the end of it, when everyone is exhausted and shattered, and you know, there's 40 transition year students, it's quite a lot, so you go, great, done, going home. Veronica would say, and now here are our feedback forms. You have to fill in your feedback form. And you go, no, do I really have to fill in the feedback form? All right, fair enough. And all the transition year students filled in their feedback forms, everyone's filling in the feedback forms. And what Veronica was able to do was improve that scheme year on year because it was repeated. So maybe this is blindingly obvious, but it suddenly struck me that any scheme that is repeated year on year is, with the same budget is improvable. 
that's the problem for new writing. It's very difficult. The project's come up, the project is on, you do your thing, you all go home. It diffuses into the sector, yeah, but the scheme itself is hard to improve. So that thinking is one of the streams, only one, that went into something like showing a bag with our partners, ITI and Fringe, where we were able to launch something which is for performers to come on board. There's four or five new plays produced in Beauty's Cafe Theatre, you saw it there, um, which then are tourable. So there's thousands of the, uh, productions of those shows, very successfully international award-winning into various media, uh, radio and film, Dublin Old School coming out as a movie. So that would be sort of that kind of process. Um, but we were able to improve it, uh, especially the ITI and Fringe, and ourselves were very keen to go, yeah, we can do this model better and better and better. Uh, and the works are varied as they come through. So that was kind of an interesting thing uh, to observe. Same goes, in a way, for New Play Clinic, which also came in at the time of the crash that was talked about earlier, where you're looking for ways to support new work for production, for which there's a production plan, which... Uh, Fishamble could be of aid to uh, in that development. Um, so uh, with that one, with New Play Clinic, for example, what we're really looking to do is help people make a step change in quality as it progresses. So in other words, whatever the level the company is, the resources, the people involved uh, from different scales, the scales of those is very varied. You're going, yeah, from here, we're going to help you just a bit as far as we can to facilitate you to get the best possible show you can out of it. That scheme is ongoing, uh, as you know, so we're open for business. If anyone has a production plan of a new work, talk to us uh, at the end. I'll uh, give you one more example of a repeated thing, which would be the new writing award at the Fringe. So uh, every year we go for a new writing award. I was saying about circulating plays and people send us plays, but also you, as a new writing company, you're looking to suck in authors. In other words, just sitting there doesn't seem to be enough. So where do people write? Well, they write in new theatres, they write all over the place. They also write for the Fringe. So by having a Fringe new writing award, what it meant was that every year we could get 20 to 25 new plays in and really look at that work. So that was what we were thinking. And we were able then to provide a new writing uh, award, and which came with a package of supports, uh, which we're very, very happy with. There's a number of uh, award winners in the room today. In fact, uh, Eva will be talking in a bit, but just take Eva, sorry about this, as an example. So what happens there is Eva is a, a really fantastic writer. She's written two, three, four works. In fact, she tells me seven. I don't really believe her. And then, um, <laughs> then she writes a play for The Fringe called Overshadowed. We were able to give that a new writing award. That's able to tour. becomes a TV series. Not much to do with us, but it, it did. You can watch it on BBC Three. Um, but then we can offer a weekend course more significantly. She's an actor. She's busy. She does the weekend course. Uh, we can set an exercise. Uh, the exercise is a short play exercise, which we'll talk about in a sec. Uh, that becomes the opening of Maz and Bricks. Maz and Bricks gets a full commission. Maz and Bricks, at the time of repeal, now is on tour and has just been on tour. So for us, that's kind of the way it works. That's the way we could think about things and see that that flow is actually happening and new plays are actually being produced and taught. And it goes round again. And one of the last... Uh, a workshop was in, someone was there, they were chatting, why were they there? Oh, they'd seen Maz and Bricks, they'd been at a post show, they'd met Eva, thought it was fantastic, they want to write a play, they come to us. So you kind of go, okay, yes, that is a system that is working. I want to talk about um, kind of one last thing which leads towards um, a play for Ireland, which is um, that circles. So I was thinking about spirals, and um, so I, many people know this, I like this. This is Yeats's great image of time, uh, the hunter with the falcon. So the falcon goes up in a spiral, uh, this is the centre cannot hold and um, things fall apart. When that spiral falls apart, they really fall apart. Uh, that was the economic crash. But if that spiral holds, what happens is you re-arrive at the same place in a higher point. So you look down and you see yourself as the falcon in the landscape. The landscape that's bigger, but you see yourself in it. Uh, Christmas is like this. So every year we arrive at Christmas and we see Christmas not only as it is, but all the other Christmases we've ever had. And if you're ever happy enough to have children, it all works out well. If that's going well, then you can actually see generationally your own self in that Christmas as well as yourself now. So it's a very interesting thing. Um, I think that's happened once with Fishamble and it happened that we set the play exercise that I was saying back in 2004. It's a short play exercise. That became a thing called Shorts, um, which was a set of short plays. At that point, we were asked, could you repeat it? In other words, we could have repeated that every three years quite happily. But it didn't feel right. All the others have people coming into the scheme, showing a bag, new play clinic, tenderfoot, um, which is not us, but it's a different thing. But they have people coming in. This felt like that's us doing it. And if we do the same thing every time, maybe that's not right. So we left it. And then three years later, we were doing site-specific plays, and we came up with Whereabouts which was an award-winning production, which was site-specific plays, and really at the start of immersive theatre in Ireland. And uh, that was also a huge success. And we left it again, in spite of the fact that we could have done it again. And three years later, we came up with Tiny Place for Ireland, which is probably the most successful of those at that time, where uh, we did two full productions. The public were engaged. They're always about engaging the public. I should have said that. In they come, write the Tiny Place, and that was a delight. 
at that point I realized, to quote, I'm sort of quoting Veronica, but I'm actually quoting T.S. Eliot, our beginnings never know our ends. In other words, I start to realize that you don't know where things will be five years, but if you do good things now, maybe there will be a ripple effect. So what happened with Tiny Plays is that five, six of them were commissioned as full-length plays and produced. Uh, the plays themselves were published, they're repeatedly produced, and the model was copied. So there's been Tiny Plays for Australia, Tiny Plays for Russia, Tiny Plays in Washington and Scotland and so on. So it, it became a ripple effect. That ripple effect lasted about five years, and then it was time for a play for Ireland, which is on now. So that is 30 writers. We're in uh, six different venues around Ireland um, working on new plays of five or six people addressing exactly what Schwarm is saying. Let's look at those cast numbers. Let's look at the, what the audience want. This is all about audiences. The substantial play for a touring perspective. Let's see, let's make that happen. I'll try and make it happen. Um, things can fall apart. The other quote is, out of the crooked timber of humanity, no straight thing was ever made. I am always aware that you're working out of the crooked materials to hand rather than some sort of perfect environment. Uh, but that will result, it should do, in play readings all over Ireland in early next year and a full production of a full play touring Ireland at the end of next year. And just to finish on, on the looking back thing, just to look at that, it has fishamble-like things. It's an engagement with the public, it's an offer to writers. Production is queen, so production is actually there at the middle of it. It has new play clinic-like features in the sense that uh, there's properly professional workshops uh, throughout the year as part of that. Uh, and it also has, um, uh, I've forgotten now, but there, there, there are other features about it which uh, build on what we've done in the past without replicating it. So you're kind of going around again trying to take on board everything you've learned, doing it as well as you can, and hoping that the ripple effect goes out forward into the future. So that's kind of what our thinking has been, although it's, you know, it's a simplified version. In, you know. um, looking to the future, in five years' time, if I'm standing here and we're talking about this again, what would we hope to be talking about? Well, the ripple effect of a play for Ireland, an actual production, but the other things that happen because of doing that with our partners. That's what I meant to say. The play for Ireland has the networked view of Ireland, the view of working with the venues, venues as partners uh, around the country. So now we're looking at... Um, the idea that that may be rippling out, and maybe in five years I'll be able to stand here with Jim and the Fishamble team and say, yes, this is our new pro program to launch. Uh, also, playwrights, I hope, will still be at the heart of what we do. So in other words, we will be producing plays by playwrights that will be touring. That is the plan. Uh, I will ask Jim later in the afternoon about commissioning, which might be of interest to people in the room. Um, also, I think you'll be looking at circular models that we can try and improve year on year. They will change, they will vary, but the idea is to vary them as a sense of improvement, as the schemes, as the environment changes, these things need to change and we need to all move on with our partners. So that's a little overview of where Fish Animal's at. Uh, thank you very much and enjoy the day.